Okay, so it went up 12, up 12, and then up 6. It went up 2, up 2, and then up 1. So instead of skipping, they went by 2s, and then all of a sudden they go by 1s. So when you see something like that, just know you're getting tricked. Someone's trying to scam you right now. It has to be exactly half. It has to be exactly half. Um. So then, change in y is twelve. Change in x is two. Twelve over two is six. Your slope is six. It's all linear. If if I was trying to say this is linear or not linear, it didn't change like that. I just kind of used it in one linear. But it's implied here that it's linear because you're asking. Okay, thanks for bringing that one to my attention. Are there any others? Yeah, 14. I don't know why that's there. Except I may have assigned it today. No. Actually, to be real, I made 6 period do 14. Because you guys were done too early, and then you got crazy. And I didn't want that to happen again. So I gave them more work. Yeah. It's actually because you guys are the best. Okay. Let's do a... Let's do the um the notes for today. Okay. Um so we are gonna go back to that, but for right now, no. Go to wherever did you guys write notes down yesterday? Okay. Yes. Alright, so this one's gonna be a little bit harder than you still writing linear equations. Um, it's just that they're giving you the information in function notation. Now, I've kind of seen this throughout this book. So many things, it's just to, um, you're going to start writing here. This, this is where you start writing. I know a lot of this stuff looks familiar from last year. Um, and then they just kind of build upon it. So, um, like what we just did yesterday, that probably looked familiar, but now we're going to do that again. But instead of giving you, like, really up slash clear information, they're using function notation. So, what's more difficult about today, same, same concept really, but they're giving you function notation about description, smart table, and all the rest, but function. They say write an equation from function notation. Do you guys have any homework? Oh, I forgot. So, um, they're not giving you a plain picture, they're giving you this. And this. So, we've talked a lot about. Give you the number out of here. I'm not going to look here. It's not going to let me do that. Why did you put something in there? Subscription, so if you're not writing, you can do a um, answer out loud. You can help us remember function notation. Um, let's see. 
and seeing, um, what I'm trying to get used to that. But this is really not too bad. The whole game. This is the whole game. And you can maybe ask for your mom. That's kind of long. And you guys want to have your turn. Yeah, the decent percent, zero common sense. So, um, step one is to look at your notation and write it down as two points. So, convert it from this symbol to the X and Y that you know and love. No, no, that's not right, honey. What's the second point? Mm hmm. Oh, put you on all the way to the left. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't. I didn't find it. Oh, neat. Look at this one. Oh, six color. What? Six color. Six what? Okay, didn't take you long. You're in it. 634. Got it. So step one, take your function notation and write it down as two points. No big deal. Next, use slope formula. Okay, so they're not telling you slope. You have to find it yourself. Use slope formula. So we're going to call this x1, y1, x2, y2. And you do the formula. So I'm going to pause and give you guys some time to try to do the formula and then write. And then I'll show you how to answer up and then see if you got it. Okay, here I go. 32 minus 10 over 6 minus 0. Ooh, 22 over 6. Oh. oh, thank goodness. I thought we had to do that fraction. <laughs> that would not have been as good. Okay, 24 divided by 6 is 4. Who got a 4? Thumbs up if you got 4 for your score. So you must have put the X's on top instead of the Y's. The Y's go on top. Or did you switch your points? Did you write this point down? It's 6 and number 34. Sure. Okay. Oh. Okay, now we're going to plug in M. So here we are, y equals mx plus b, y equals 4x plus, what is b? b is 10. How did you know? Because of the zero. Whenever there's a zero, you have found a b value. b was given and we didn't even realize it. <laughs> Paper pigs here. Paper. It was so fun. Alright, that's the whole lesson, guys. That's it. You said we can do it. Actually, it's time for the bell work quiz. Cheerio. Cheerio.